Barabara mpenzi mtazamaji mahali popote pale ulipo shukran zangu za dhati kwa wewe kuweza kujiongea nami ndani ya dau la mwanga wa Ebru hujambo na langu jina ni Milia Kisienya Mfasiri wa lugha ya ishara kifahamika kama Joyce Wairimu kwa sasa tuzipate tu baadhi ya taarifa zilizogonga vichwa vya habari zetu Bila shaka moja kwa moja mpenzi mtazamaji kwa sasa taarifa zilizogonga vichwa vya habari zetu ni kuwa watu wawili wameripotiwa kufariki kutokana na maporomoko ya ardhi katika eneo la Kilungu katika kaunti ya Makweni. Ripoti ya polisi imeonyesha kuwa familia zingine kadhaa zimepoteza makazi yao kufuatia mkasa huo. Eneo la Kilungu katika kaunti ya Makueni ndilo la hivi karibuni kushuhudia maporomoko ya ardhi ambayo yamesababisha vifo vya watu wawili huku familia zaidi ya 20 zikibaki bila makao. Haya yanajiri wiki moja tu baada ya maporomoko ya ardhi kushuhudiwa katika kaunti ya West Pokot na kuwaua watu hamsini tatu huku maelfu ya wenyeji wakipoteza makazi yao. Mtu wa Weiwei ambao unapita katikati ya eneo bonge la Sigor ulifagia madaraja na kutatiza shughuli za usafiri. Gavana John Lonyangapuo alionya kuwa wenyeji wanakodolea macho majanga mbalimbali ambayo huenda yakatokea kufuatia mkasa huo na kuomba msaada wa dharura kutoka kwa serikali. Awali mwezi wa Aprili mwaka huu zaidi ya familia 30 ziliathirika pakubwa kutokana na maporomoko ya ardhi baada ya mto wa Muoni jimbo la Makueni kuvunja kingo zake. Mto wa Kikuu eneo bunge la Nzaui ulivunja kingo zake pia na kutatiza usafiri katika barabara ya Wote Makindu. Familia nyingi ziliachwa bila makao kufuatia mafuriko hayo. Mbali na hayo mtazamaji kwa sasa ni siku ya tatu baada ya ripoti ya jopo kazi la BBI kuzinduliwa rasmi ngoma za kisiasa zinazidi kurindima kuhusu jinsi ipi ripoti hiyo itatekelezwa. Kwa siku ya pili sasa basi naibu rais William Ruto ameongoza baadhi ya viongozi kupiga upatu mfumo wa utekelezwaji wa ripoti hiyo kupitia bunge. Anajiri baada viongozi wa ndani wa kiongozi wa ODM Raila Odinga kusema kuwa ripoti hiyo basi inapaswa kutekelezwa kupitia kura ya maamuzi. Zinduliwa kwa ripoti ya jopo kazi la maridhiano almaarufu BBI kulifungua ulingo mpya wa malumbano kuhusu ni jinsi ipi mapendekezo katika ripoti hiyo yatatekelezwa. Na mtu asifuatishe mambo iko sawa. Ya watu wa kilimo na huku ngoma za joto la kisiasa zikizidi kurindima makundi ya simu yanaonekana kukinzana kuhusu ikiwa ripoti hiyo itatekelezwa na bunge au la this process must be people owned it will not be taken to parliament It will go to the people at the end. The people of the Kenya are the ones who will decide what to do with that report. Let the people decide. Yes. BBI is the people's report, not the elite people politicians report. Na huku mrengo wa wanasiasa unaongozwa na kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga ukipendekeza kufanyika kwa kura ya maamuzi. Naibu Rais William Ruto na viongozi wa ndani wake wanapigia upato kutekelezwa kwa mapendekezo hayo kupitia bunge. Kwa mujibu wa Ruto na wendani wake, mapendekezo katika ripoti hiyo yanapaswa kutekelezwa na bunge ili kuokolea taifa muda na hela. Ile kesi ya Kenya Kenya, BBI sijaona kitu ambacho Kenya inapaswa kutumia 30 billion ndio mwananchi apigie BBI kura. Hiyo 30 billion ambayo inatumika kwa referendum, hiyo pesa ikusanywe yote ipatiano kwa county governments as part of now kuoneshana kuna goodwill na huku mirengo hiyo ya simu ikionekana kukubaliana na, na mapendekezo ya ripoti ya BBI daraja la utangamano linaonekana kufifia kila uchao hususan wakati taifa likitazamia uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka 
Kinaitwa kitumbua cha BBI kina wenyewe mpenzi mtazamaji letu jicho ila kwa sasa basi wacha tufuatie na taarifa hizi zaidi ya familia elfu moja mia nne zilizoathirika na mafuriko katika kaunti ya Garissa na Tana River zimepokea msaada wa chekula na hata nguo miongoni mwa nyinginezo basi katika kaunti ya Garissa kambi saba zililazimika kutengezwa kufuatia maafa ya mafuriko Sola la cho katika kambi hizo pia limeza kuangaziwa na serikali ya kaunti ya Garissa pamoja na shirika lisilokuwa la kiserikali la msalaba mwekundu hadi kufikia sasa serikali ya kitaifa hata hivyo imeomba kuingilia kati na kusaidia pakubwa katika operesheni hiyo ya misahada kwa ni zipo kaunti ndogo kama Liboi, Olugo, Sangailu na Galmagala ziliweza kuathirika pakubwa We have started uh, here the first camp and we will be continuing uh, reaching other camps plus even uh, I'm aware the other home states that were affected that are not in the camps so we will also have programs to reach uh, those in the in their homes in the red cross we have been doing the rescue mission we have been rescuing people who are marooned in the river and currently we are doing the interventions both sanitation at the camps and also distribution of the non food items Uh, we are very happy at least today uh, more than 253 in this camp will receive non food items and also food items from the county government of Garissa we've also constructed some big latrines uh, to enhance sanitation in uh, most of these idp centers uh, you can imagine 1400 households coming together and uh, the kind of sanitation they require but still i think much is required from us na mama wa taifa b margaret kenyatta ameahidi kuwapa matibabu ya bure kina mama wanaugua ugonjwa wa nasuri maarufu kama fistula hasa wale walio katika maeneo ya mashinani aidha kenyatta amethibitisha kwamba kupitia mradi wa beyond zero angalau zaidi ya kina mama 350 wameza kupata matibabu bila malipo Mama Margaret Kenyatta amebaini kwamba zaidi ya kina mama ya 1600 pamoja na watoto ambao wanaishi mashinani wameathirika kiafya. Hata hivyo amesisitiza kwamba kina mama walio na ugonjwa wa nasuri watapata matibabu ya bure. I have committed my support to provide screening and surgical repairs for women with reproductive health issues. Together with AMREF We support their full recovery and reintegration into their communities. Margaret Kenyatta aidha amesema kwamba zaidi ya kina mama 350 wameweza kupata usaidizi kupitia mradi wa Beyond Zero. I've impacted over 350 women through the Beyond Zero medical safaris. This is an outreach event that offers free integrated medical services. Waziri wa Afya Sisili Kariuki amesema kwamba Wizara ya Afya nchini imefanya juhudi za kuhakikisha kwamba taifa limepambana na ugonjwa wa nasuri vilivyo. We are indeed now able to monitor and account for through our data management systems because one day in the very near future we want to look back and say we are at point zero. Mmoja wa walionufaika na matibabu hayo Biruz ambaye amedhihirisha kwamba kwa muda amekuwa akiugua ugonjwa wa nusuri lakini baadaye akapokea matibabu. Ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu sasa hivi nikisimama nimetembea all the way from Naro kumpaka hapa na ninasikia ni a more than normal. Jerry Njogu Mwanga wa Ebro.